Hey guys, welcome back to the Living Wild course. This is lesson two and it's all about why sleep is so important. So we're gonna talk about foods that help you sleep better. We're gonna talk about schedules that you should be on and about electronics and how they impact your sleep. And most importantly, the amount of sleep you're getting. The first food we're gonna talk about is tryptophan. And tryptophan, if you didn't know, is in turkey, and it's an amino acid that helps you sleep better. There is a reason why you wanna take a nap after Thanksgiving. <laughs> the second mineral is magnesium. Magnesium's role to regulate sleep is through its ability to regulate inflammation. It reduces inflammation, and as we've said before, inflammation is the root of almost all and any uh, diseases mm -hmm. or disorders. And also a really nice tea to add to your regimen is chamomile tea. It helps induce sleepiness and the antioxidants in it have shown to improve sleep quality. Another nutrient that helps regulate our sleep is calcium. And did you know that calcium levels are at our highest when we're in our REM sleep? So if you're feeling sleepy a lot, that means that you might have a calcium deficiency. Most people think of calcium and they think of cow's milk but there are a ton of plants that you can eat that give you calcium. And foods that contain calcium that aren't dairy-based are seeds, nuts, and legumes. So guys, aside from food, the time you go to sleep and the time you wake up is super, super important, as well as how regulated your schedule is. If you're out of whack, your circadian rhythms aren't going to function properly, therefore making you feel like crap during the day, increasing cravings, um, bringing down the skin on your face, having bags under your eyes, all of these play a role in how you feel. Some experts out there actually believe that sleep is literally the foundation of your entire well-being. And I definitely know for myself, I have always overlooked the power of sleep and never in my life have I prior prioritized it more than today. And be sure to try and get to bed at the same time every night, as close to sundown as possible. I know that can be very, very hard in this day and age. And also avoid electronics two to three hours before you go to bed. So I actually use, I also recommend using red light bulbs at home instead of white light bulbs to reduce the amount of blue light that is being emitted into your eyeballs. This will change the game so much for you. Blue light bulbs are at Home Deaver for $4. Also wear your blue light blocking glasses if you have them. So again, guys, sleep is everything and you will feel your best if you can regulate and optimize your sleep. And going off what Jamie said, blue light has been scientifically shown to keep you in a state of restlessness and prevent you from going to sleep at the natural time that you would. The average amount of sleep an adult should get should be seven to eight hours. And I know that's difficult in this day and age where we're all so busy and running around and have so many things to do, but that is the number that you should go for every single night. We hope you guys enjoyed course number two on sleep and we hope you guys get more of it. We'll see you guys in lesson three.